Hey y'all, this is your girl Kitty Cam, and welcome to the Kitty Cam vlog. So we finally found part two of, um, I believe, Wee's journey, and we also reacting to Justin on Whitehead. So I hope y'all enjoy the previous video that I did. Um, that was like part one. But anyway, y'all, so how's everybody doing? I hope y'all are doing great, staying healthy and staying blessed. So, um, other than that, y'all, let us get started with this part two of the video. Alright. Let's see what in the fuck you done now. Let's go. It's been a month, you still got that shit on. <laughs> Some people might understand. And I've known about him for a while, and I finally decided that it's time for me to go see him. Man, y'all gonna tear that goddamn truck up, whatever the <laughs> fuck that is. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold in here. So get your fucking ass in here and put them damn seatbelts on. <laughs> How the fuck does he know? He don't damn drive. Don't get your ass in here asking these stupid ass questions. You know how much fucking gas it take to get some damn wire? You don't want the fucking wheel. The fuck you asking him about a damn eighth of a tank for? They gonna tie that damn wheel up, that boy. It's nice and cold in this damn car, isn't it? I turned it on a little bit early. <laughs> hey, Wes, you damn right it's cold. I know it is kitchen here. here, go up here <laughs> I'm done. Hell no. Bob, when they park that bitch, you gonna be able to light a cigarette on that transmission. <laughs> Well, why in the fuck you go in the grocery store and buy all that shit for them then? Mm -hmm. Then let them order up all that damn barbecue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your damn fault. Where else you gonna fucking sit? Should have rented a goddamn U-Haul. You want but a damn hour away. Wow. Now you just shut the fuck up and ride. You knew that damn wheel was too, look, look, just look at that damn automobile. You knew it was fucking too little for a minute, damn way. Pretty much everything gives me credit. So something like this, where there's everything on the line, my health, my future, my life, I feel like I have a kid that I still I hope he wants something new to ride in, because that's going to be it. Ain't no damn way they're going to be able to get too much more out of that. Ain't no need to blur it out in front of that bitch. Let us see who make these <laughs> tough motherfuckers. The beard of Hall of Goddamn Well, I up the fucking road. <laughs> and, and when you leave the damn doctor, go to the barbershop and shave the rest of that shit off your damn head. Damn. Got a fucking sunroof up there and you still trying to hold on to that shit. Big forehead motherfucker. Uh oh. That's why, man, I'm through with this comedy shit. I'm finna go around and be a damn life coach. <laughs> I'm sick of the dumb shit. <laughs> How <do> your ass up? <laughs> oh my god, yo. God damn it, if I have to tell you again. I'll go get back in the damn truck myself. Wes? Yep. Don't even sit down. Get your ass on back there. Back well, you ain't now.
hoping you below 650. Seven oh five. Seven fifty. I knew it. God damn it! I ain't had the numbers in the right order, but I knew it was gonna be a goddamn seven five and a zero on that bitch. Well, seven oh five. I felt it in my damn soul. <laughs> damn. That don't make a damn bit of sense, man. Mm. You you wipe your big ass on here and let me talk to you. Worse. I just pray the doctor now can help me. No, damn it. Wow. Damn doctor now, you need me. Hey. I be goddamn. Hey. Look at me now, rap right back in disbelief. Damn it, it's right. Hello. Hey, how I'm doing? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? And don't go give me that shit about that right. shit on your damn leg. That's your fucking fat ass weigh that much. Yeah. This is my dad, Rick. Nice to meet you guys. All right, you are 705 pounds. How long have you been at that weight? Yeah. For a damn while. Uh, don't you come here with that stupid shit either, doc. I know, a few years yeah. ago, the last time I weighed, about three or four years ago, and I was like 650 pounds. And what the fuck you think, Ham, so for six you know, years, and you sitting there eating up damn wraps and, and fucking barbecue and shit like that? He fucking eating, dog. What do you think? Oh my God. So what is you trying to avoid by doing that? Um, there's a lot of things in my past that I'm probably working through, and I probably use food to. I wouldn't give a damn about none of that. Don't <laughs> tell them what the damn plan is, Doc. Well, yeah, Don't like, hand me this shit here. I live by myself, but I live close to my family, to my dad and my aunts, and so go over pretty regularly. So you sit at home most of the time and eat. Yeah. So your BMI is 112. Your normal BMI is 18 to 25. And being over 100 BMI is mm. very high. Your weight is putting a lot of strain on your body right now. No, mm. dog. So I want to fucking thought that. You a really serious issue with your weight, and you're tolerating that at the moment. But you're getting older, and on top of where and there, from the strain of your weight on your body for years. So very soon things gonna change and your body is gonna get to a point where you can't go on like this anymore. Everything is going to I could have told him that shit, dog. Out that, that. Come on down, let him know what the fuck the damn deal is so we can get to it. <laughs> and tell his stupid ass dad over there to quit bringing him shit. Mm -hmm. That's going to happen really soon if you keep going like this. So, are you willing to make the changes? 100% yes, sir. Mm. We're going to damn see. I can live and do things on my own again. What is something you want to do with your life? I've always, uh, always wanted to be on stage. <laughs> in front of people. Talk, mm. act, whatever. Things like that. I always loved it. It was always a passion of mine. Hopefully, this will allow me to get up and, and do that again. Well, keep I think this well, when they do Charlotte way up, you will be a, a fucking good pit. You want to damn be on stage. I think this, this is um, Three little pigs or something here. You ain't no goddamn like little pig. You need to stick to it. Fucking free will or something. Just, just stick around to the end. Fuck no. <laughs> he said, fuck no. <laughs> no, sir. 
Uh, mm, so damn. Do some stuff and see if we can get you going in the right wow. direction. Right, thank you, sir. Okay, I'll be back. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You should have told. Look at the goddamn shit and slip through the damn pants. Now I didn't damn see that. Wow. Wait a minute. Let me let me pause this real quick because it's kind of like delay. And let me see. Goddamn. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's like that's delay. a crying goddamn shame, that man. That shit down there look like a damn gristle on the head. You're damn right it is. Mm. You know, goddamn well, he ain't gonna be able to do that. Mm. Doc, if you're gonna fucking read it to him, then don't even damn give him the packet. <laughs> Come on now, we gotta damn go. Damn. What happens from here is all up to us. No one but him can make the choice to change, as he doesn't have any time to waste. What in the God fuck they still sitting out for, man? God damn! <laughs> to do that, then we're considering weight loss surgery. So we the stuff that I gave you every night, make the changes, and... I bet the zombies leave there and get something to eat. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And in the meantime, if you need anything, give me a call. Yes, sir. All right, nice to see you guys. You and don't wear them goddamn shops back in here neither. You You're damn right. You Coming here with your damn nuts, falling out your damn pants like they're embarrassing me. Get your ass up and come on out of here. Well, fucking do it. Don't damn talk me to death. So, you know, it's all a mental game, right? I think this is going to be very hard for me to do, but I have no other option. This is my last resort. Well, leaving this meeting with Dr. Now, I know that he's going to Look at that damn shit, shit there. Now, look at that shit there. You... Hopefully, you'll keep it up. Damn. I'll be goddamn. I'll be goddamn clown, man. Just... Watch this. Look at this shit here. Now, when you, you don't just let your goddamn life resort to this. Look, 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 look. look. I'll be down. <laughs> them damn struts and them shots gone off the back. Wow. Okay, I think this video was. Um... I had like a slight delay in it, but I still hope y'all enjoy that one. Um, man, that was crazy. That was crazy. Okay, so um, I for oh, I have forgot to um throw in a disclaimer um to let y'all know uh for this for these videos when I'm reacting to these videos I am not um I am not laughing at you know at um these people conditions as far as what they weight. I am only reacting to just our white head that's also reacting to the video. So I'm just, you know, just giving y'all that disclaimer right there. I'm also put that in the comments and stuff. 
But anyway, so my take on it, um, I hope, um, I think his name is Weez or Wes, whatever his name is. I hope, um, he, um, I hope he, you know, get a chance to lose weight. Um, uh, make sure y'all let me know as far as the update on, on his journey and stuff, cause I would really like to know did he did he succeed with his um weight loss journey and everything? Cause like I said, I know food addiction can be very hard, especially if you're going through depression and a lot of traumatized stuff, you know, in your life and everything like that. And only thing I can say, just seek help, talk to someone if you're going through something. You know, don't go to food because when you go to food and you depressed and unhappy, you're gonna continue to crave for more food and get big and you don't want that so i hope um i hope he uh find the help that he needed so make sure y'all uh send me an update um in the comments as far as um what's been going on with this dude so let me know because i really want to know the update on his situation but other than that thank you guys so much for love and support i really appreciate y'all being patient with me Y'all just don't know how much this means to me. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to end this right here. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss out any videos like this. So other than that, y'all stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye.